fun inside tray. Maybe it's a good day to take that sport outside because it's going to get really warm later on today. That's right. It'll be a good afternoon to get outside, do a lot of activities here, hit the parks, hit the gyms up, and it's going to be a pretty nice day. Mostly sunny skies here in downtown Des Moines this morning. Looking back to the west over Principal Park, 25 degrees with winds out of the east at around 5 miles per hour, so not looking at a bad morning in terms of wind chill factor or anything like that. Temperatures across the state range from as cold as 7 in Mason City to 9 in Algona. We're sitting at 28 in Lamoni. Uh, they have a lot more snow on the ground up to the north, and that's the reason why they are colder here this morning. Our winds are fairly light this morning, generally out of the south at around 5 to 8 miles per hour, but they're going to pick up as a much more powerful storm system approaches from the southwest. You can see this morning we're starting out with mostly clear skies across the state. There are a few high level cirrus clouds kind of moving into the southern half of the state. We're going to see a whole lot more cloud cover as this very powerful upper level low currently in the desert southwest begins to push off to the northeast. It will draw up a lot of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, and that's going to set the stage for a widespread rainfall here across the state as we get into this evening and overnight. A pretty significant severe weather event is anticipated down south today. Uh, they've got a pretty high end threat there for parts of Oklahoma and northwest Texas could be looking at a uh, damaging wind and tornado outbreak there. But up here we could see an isolated at severe storm, maybe produce some strong winds down in the parts of southern Iowa, but mainly most of us will just see it's just widespread heavy rain. So clouds will begin to increase later this afternoon, especially after sunset here. You can see the showers start to push into our southwestern counties here after 7 to 8 p.m., but the rains become more widespread between 10 p.m. and midnight, and it's between midnight and 3 a.m. where we'll have to watch for the potential of some stronger storms, generally in this zone here from Des Moines on down south to the Iowa-Missouri border could see an isolated strong wind gust with that activity, but you'll note how quickly it pushes out of here. By mid-morning, midday tomorrow, we're just cloudy and very windy and much cooler as well. Let's talk about the winds with this upcoming system because they do pick up later this evening. We could be talking a wind gust as high as 20 to 25 miles per hour. And then as this very deep area of low pressure pushes over the state tonight, those winds will pick up and could gust as high as 40 miles per hour, especially down south as we get into the day tomorrow. This is a look at your rainfall forecast. Very healthy rainfall amounts with this system. Anywhere from one to two inches is expected. Here's a look at your eight day forecast. We'll make it up to 51 tomorrow. That's during the morning and then those temperatures fall throughout the day. Another chance for a few showers Tuesday night in the Wednesday and then temperatures turn much cooler as we get into the middle to end of a week. All right, Trey, thank you. And it is a bittersweet time here at KCCI. After 34 years telling Iowa's story,